Welcome back to the Benning Report. In his special live fire series on Ranger School, R. Ron Andrus has been following a class of students as they travel from Fort Benning to the second phase of Ranger School. Ron? Well, Jen, after a very cold and challenging three weeks at Fort Benning, the Ranger students who successfully made it through phase one moved up here to the 5th Ranger Training Battalion at Camp Frank D. Merrill for what some consider the toughest part of Ranger School, the mountain phase. Welcome to the mountain phase of Ranger School, huh? Congratulations on your successful completion of the uh, Benning phase. I know it was difficult, okay, but like the Sergeant Major said, you're going to find up here that uh, it's going to be pretty challenging for you. Phase two of Ranger School is conducted in the mountains of northeast Georgia, and it's where the students will learn the basics of military mountaineering. We got the Rangers up here for about 21 days, and we take them immediately into about four days of mountaineering, and then uh, that's followed by about five days of what we call techniques training where we teach them the raid and the ambush as the two primary objectives, also movement to contact. And then that's followed by a nine day FTX with a one day of change of mission in between. The students will start off by learning how to overcome vertical and horizontal obstacles. And it begins with the basics, learning how to tie a variety of knots, secure anchors, climb, repel, and evacuate casualties in mountainous terrain. They'll also learn how to construct devices like a suspension traverse, and a rope bridge so they may safely negotiate obstacles like bodies of water. You never know where you're going to get deployed to in this part of the world. You know, there's always rivers somewhere. If you're not properly trained on it, it's, it's kind of hard to install, you know, put any anchors in because if you do it wrong, the whole thing could collapse on you and, you know, it could be catastrophic if the water's, you know, frigid or the water's really deep and, you know, you have all that gear on and personnel can't swim to. Knowing these critical skills and using them in theater could be the difference between life or death when it comes to heights like these. After the students become armed with the skills of military mountaineering, they will then venture out into the Great Tennessee Valley Divide and face their ultimate challenge, a demanding nine-day field training exercise with little food, almost no sleep, and an unforgiving environment. You are receiving fire. You cannot run 500 meters in the wide open. Now three to five seconds, rush that gun just like you would a regular weapon system. A Ranger student will leave here as knowing about himself and leading other people under physical and mental duress. Uh, they'll be physically smoked. They're going to be tired. They're going to be hungry. Uh, they'll be worn out from moving across the terrain. Um, but what makes a Ranger leader is someone who still rucks up and moves on out and keeps pushing on an objective even though they're just as tired as the next man but motivates the man next to him to accomplish the mission. The objective is to put the students under incredible stress and see who can successfully lead their platoons through simulated combat. It takes a lot of heart. It takes working together as a team and it takes your, their chain of command said they had leadership potential to come to Ranger School. Uh, here they have to demonstrate that they have leadership. Near the end of the nine-day FTX, the students are so physically and mentally exhausted that some begin sleepwalking and hallucinating. Wake up! Talk! Oh, sir. What are you doing? Uh, I was following the trail, sir. Hey, there's a Ranger buddy right there. Get behind him and move out. Yesterday, I was delirious. We were walking up a mountain and I started seeing stuff. I thought I was walking through somebody's kitchen at one point. Up here, less sleep and you're just, you're burning more calories than you're consuming and you're pretty much starving yourself. And that's the difference. That's what shocked me because, you know, I knew what Ranger School was to a certain degree, but I didn't know it was like this. These are the guys that within a year of uh, graduation, most of them are going to be leading uh, units downrange. I think they all know that. They get that reinforced uh, in every block of instruction they get up here, and they're very eager to learn because they know what they learn up here is going to keep them and their men alive. Although these soldiers are being pushed to their ultimate limits, they acknowledge that a ranger is a more elite soldier and accept the fact that our country expects them to move further, faster, and fight harder than any other soldier. And they really learned that Ranger Creed, huh? But Ron, those Ranger students look absolutely exhausted. How are they able to keep on keeping on with little or no sleep? Well, no pun intended, but it's somewhat downhill from here. Those Ranger students who made it through this grueling mountain phase can now see the finish line. If they can Ranger up and get through the next three weeks in Florida, they will have accomplished a great personal and professional feat and have become one of those elite soldiers who can proudly wear that Ranger tab.